Hey there YouTube, just wanted to let you know I'm feeling a lot better and I'm ready to start recording again. Let's get this kicking off with a uh, fourth generation battle. Today's battle is against Theoceros. I sent her a message through YouTube for requesting a battle. Uh, I'm going to start off with my Georgina, my Chimchar, as she's going to send out her Magic, her Mag, I almost said Magic Heart, her Abra. Uh, her Magic's going to go for Protect just to scout out what I'm going to do. As I go for protect, just to scout out what it's going to do as well. Um, now she's going to go for psychic, which is going to hit my my Georgina really hard, but not, at, not it's going to be about three hit KO. So now I'm going to go for uh, self rock. Again, she's going to go for protect as I try and go for the U turn. And uh, seeing this, she's going to go ahead and pull back. So she's going to send out her Kung Fu, her Mian Fu, which is actually pretty good for me. So I go for U-Turn, not going to do a lot or really much at all. So I can uh, pull back into my uh, Padawan, this, which is really my, uh, a lot of people don't know, my Padawan is like my real loop counter. So here I go for High Jump Kick, it hits really hard, almost knocks her out. And uh, she's just going to go for Drain Punch. It's really surprising I outsped. I'm guessing this is some kind of bulky set. So, seeing that I out, not only do I outspeed, but I could pretty much KO it, um, she switches out into her Nasty, her Ghastly, as I go for Earthquake. But Levitate's going to stop that from happening. And uh, I didn't really want to go for another high jump kick, considering she could have switched into that Ghastly, which is exactly what happened. So here I'm going to switch out into my Munchlax, my mini -me, as she goes for Hidden Power. Now based off the damage, I'd have to say it's Hidden Power, Fire, or Ice, because that just did nothing. And uh, I know Munchlax is a special wall, but come on, Ghastly's are especially offensive. So now I'm going to go for uh, Fire Punch, expecting it to stay in. Unfortunately, it doesn't. She uh, switches into her Mi Star, her Star U, and uses Rapid Spin. So, I'm going to go for return to hit this thing like a, like a ton of bricks, and I almost knocked it out, almost, but not quite. So, she's going to go back out into her nasty as, uh, I actually predict this and go for fire punch. So, that's almost going to KO her nasty, it's solid to a KO, and she's going to go for trick, which is going to get rid of my Munchlax EVO light, and give it a choice scarf, which is really, really weird for Munchlax to run. I mean, it's uh, it's like minimal speed, so it's it's huh. it's pretty much useless on me. So, taking this opportunity to uh, see an opportunity to recover, she's gonna switch out into her Mi Star again. As I'm gonna go back, or I'm gonna switch out into my Grow Up Bulb, my Badu. As uh, like I thought, she's just gonna take this turn to recover. So, I don't know if this thing has Psychic or not. But if it, even if it does, it should be fine. Which, based on that switch out, I'd have to say it doesn't. And she's going to switch out into her seedling, her uh, Pharaoh Seed. As I go for Stun Sport, and it hits. Which isn't really great on a Pharaoh Seed, considering they t tend to run uh, Gyro Ball. So I set up a layer of spikes, and, she, and her Pharaoh Seed gets fully paralyzed. And I'm thinking, oh crud. I should probably switch out here. I don't want her setting up a lot of entry hazards. So here I go, take the opportunity to go in my Georgina. Uh, she gets paralyzed again, which is really weird. And uh, so I just go for Stealth Rock since I'd be okay with like one layer of entry hazards. And she's fully paralyzed again. So yeah, I just decided to go for Fire Blast and not risk being fully paralyzed again and she disconnecting or something because. Honestly, in that situation, I I think I'd do that. I mean, four para hacks in a row—that's unbelievable. I I I wouldn't want even I wouldn't want to waste that on my worst enemy. Huh. Anyway, she goes into her Mi Star as I go for protect, and uh, she goes for Hydro Pump. Now I'm gonna switch out into my Super Kamiguru, expecting that Hydro Pump. Unfortunately, she's going to recover instead. So she's going to be almost up to full HP, which is going to suck, 
but I'm thinking I can uh, KO not when not with one hit, but maybe two. So here I go for my I go for Hidden Power, which is Hidden Power Grass, and it's a solid two hit KO. As she's gonna go for a Thunderbolt on my Super Combo Guru, and it does a lot of damage, almost KOs. I'm thinking if she did get a, get up a layer of entry hazards, it, there's a good chance it would have KO'd. Uh, seeing that it can do it KO, uh, she goes into her Kung Fu again, as I just go for another Hidden Power. And here, I know I'm gonna switch out, because a Fake Out would definitely knock me out. So I'm gonna go into my Hot Headed, my Drip Loom. And she, like I thought, she's gonna go for... Oh, actually, no, I was wrong. She goes for Payback, expecting me to switch. And uh, knowing I outspeed, because I this is actually a similar set to my... It's similar in speed to my Padawan, so I'm almost positive I outspeed. I'm free to go for the Acrobatics. So now, I don't think there's anything left on her team that can really resist me. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, her Abra can... Uh, if it's, it's Sash, so it can take a hit. So I go for Shadow Ball to get it down to its Sash, which really I shouldn't have done. I should have just gone for Destiny Bonds to take it down with me. But now I was being a little greedy, thinking, well, I don't know what I was thinking. I really should just should have gone for Destiny Bond. So down goes my Drift Moon, but that's okay. I can send out my Padawan and go for a Bullet Punch. Now uh, she pulls back her magic and goes into her Me Star. Um, I'm guessing to think of it as a chance to recover, or maybe to rapid spin, but uh, I've got bullet, my bullet at that range of HP, I'm thinking, yeah, two bullet punches are going to knock it out. So that's what I go ahead and do. I use a second bullet punch, and it KOs her Staryu no problem. So down it goes, and now she's going to send out her, uh, her Ponyta, her Farlap. And I'm not going to want to take a hit from this thing. I want to keep my Padawan for that Abra. So I pull back and send out my Georgina as essentially fodder. As she has her Farlap go for Will-O-Wisp. And thank I'm glad I just went into Georgina. So now she's going to go for Morning Sun to get her HP full. And uh, now that I've got my free switch, I can go for another free switch with U-Turn since I know Georgina will move last. So I uh, go ahead and new turn, and I'm actually going to go into my Super Kami Guru, thinking that I can pretty, I can knock this thing out with a Surf, since it didn't go for anything like Flame Charge. So I go for Surf, and it hits, it hits really hard, and as the HP goes down, down, and it does not knock it out. Uh, after the battle, she told me it was Eviolite's Ponyta, so that does explain why I couldn't knock it out. And she's a free to KO with a uh, Flare Blitz, which, let's face it, it was on its last leg anyway. So now I'm going to send out my Padawan, and she, right now she's going to forfeit. Thanks for that battle, the Oceros. Um, You know, I don't mind you uh, forfeiting, considering uh, three paralyzes in a row, I that's that cost you the game. And if that didn't happen, it probably would have turned out a lot different. Uh... There's no comment or question of the day in this video because I'm doing two videos today. So just check out the next video for that uh, comment or question of the day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle and comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.